What is up, bros and brats? I'm Slasher44, and today was the last Black Ops 3 Friday. And that's kind of sad, but kind of freaking awesome all at the same time, because we don't get any more information about the game, but next Friday, the game actually freaking comes out, and we can finally get our hands on it, and I am super, super stoked for that. But we got a little bit of information, not as much information out of this Friday that I thought we would. Like, I thought we were going to get some information about the end game, but we didn't. Mainly this week was two things. One, uh, unboxing a PS4 Black Ops 3 edition, and a also a in-depth, incredibly in-depth look, more than you'll ever need in-depth look at Nukedown. So I'll break down all the key points so that you can see it. So first things first, we'll look at them opening the PS4. So the PS4 came in a really cool box. It came with the PS4 with the decals on it, and this limited edition black ops 3 ps4 was all right like i mean the playstation's still black the only difference is is some like red coloring onto it i, I was kind of hoping for more than that but the thing that was really cool in it was the controller the black ops 3 controller is really nice fortunately you can actually i believe buy these things just by themselves and they look really really good and then after that, of course, you get the game with it. So nothing too special. And I, I like the Juggernaut Edition a lot better. I'd rather have that than have a PS4 that looks like it. But uh, if you are planning on buying a PS4 and planning on getting Black Ops 3, this is definitely the way to do so. Save some money doing it that way. But also, we got a lot of information on Nuketown. So uh, Nuketown overall looks absolutely freaking awesome awesome uh, i think they did a great job with it bringing it back again and you can play it right from launch if you pre-ordered the game now uh, if you didn't pre-order the game i'm sure eventually you'll just be able to buy it i think you were able to do that in previous cod games but uh, the things to note about this one is so they said they experimented with a lot of stuff and they only really changed two things all in all thing number one is they made the middle of the map larger um, not by a lot, but just by a little bit because of the faster movement mechanics in Black Ops 3. The second thing they did is they made a wall run path um, through the sides of the houses and over top of B flag, if you can picture that. Uh, and you can actually see that in the trailer if you watch it. Uh, there's just one quick scene where he's wall running and you can see it there. Um, also, they answered a few questions. One of them was, are you going to be able to get on top of the roofs? And no, you are not. They said that just added a lot of problems to the map. And I can completely see that. Camping up there would just be absolutely horrendous and I'm glad that they didn't put that in there and then finally the last thing they said is they were asked two things one what that were like the kind of lights coming off from the top of things in the map and they said that has to do with the lore of the game and secondly they were asked if there was going to be an easter egg in the map and they didn't answer what the easter egg is but they said maybe which when you're talking about easter eggs is a yes so as soon as i have any information on that whatsoever i will get it out to you once the game is out i'm looking forward to finding that easter egg the one other thing they talked about is the four maps we got to see earlier this week at the esports event and uh, what actually happened with this is if you watch my video from I believe it's yesterday um, I was like almost spot on like if you re listen to what I said about every single map and then listen to what the developers said about every single map I was almost perfect on all all of the maps like just go and check it out and it, it's ridiculous how similar the descriptions were and obviously i said that before black ops 3 friday happened so absolutely insane so check that out if you haven't seen it already uh, but i'm super excited we got a lot of great videos coming this week talking about black ops 3 saying goodbye to advanced warfare the last supply drop opening of advanced warfare so if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button check me out on twitter link in the description if you have any questions for me about this black ops 3 friday or about the launch uh check me out there and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, and until next time, peace out!